Okay, it's basically a response video to Cody regarding his book, Imperfect. Imperfect. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was going to take some notes. Uh, I got the book today, three hours ago or so, and I read it. Um, don't usually read books through, but I kind of just wanted to get through it, to tell you the truth. Um, yeah, so I mean, I was, look, like I said, I could give you, I could try to be polite, but there's no point. Um, yeah, I didn't like it. Um, that's the bottom line. And, um, yeah, people probably do. You know, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to unrecommend it. Um, because who the hell cares what my opinion is? Um, it's, yeah, it is, it's, it's a lot of metaphor, a lot of poetry, in a sense. Well, it's not even poetry. It's written like poetry, which itself is kind of annoying. It's not even written like poetry I can tolerate, where it's in straight line stanzas. You know, it's this, you know, you're not going to be able to appreciate it, but, you know, it's like, you know, text is staggered, you know, a lot. It's a lot of spacing, a lot of one-word sentences and shit, and, um, yeah, I just personally don't find that appealing. Um, but anyway, beyond that, you know, that's a, a, a structural, mechanical thing. It's just irritating for me to read that way. Um, but yeah, I don't, there's, there's not, this. I don't want to say this is just cliche crap, but I mean, yeah, it's just common complaints. And there wasn't, there wasn't anything in here. There wasn't anything, you know, there wasn't even any, good penis and vagina stuff and there wasn't anything that, like you know I, I'm as dark as they come I mean I'm suicidal I've been suicidal for you know decades and even I could appreciate that there needs to be something bright you know something light something something you could find something and there's nothing here it's just a big fucking complaint and it's a complaint in the in this, you know, perfectly useless complaint. I mean, not a complaint that, well, this is how we need, we need to fix this, this is the root of the problem, this is something. I mean, even, even the stories, I mean, just something. I mean, I didn't even learn anything about you from this book, nothing. I mean, there's nothing new, nothing you haven't already um, revealed about yourself. It's there's nothing there there's not a human I can't build it I tried to read it without thinking about you just saying okay somebody's talking to me and there was no person there there was nothing there was no person and um, the biggest disappointment I have to admit was the photos I mean I thought there'd be something that would at least I mean the cover photo is pretty interesting but beyond that the, the, the photos suck <laughs> you know um, yeah, I mean, who hasn't, you know, who hasn't watched, it, uh, you know, SCI, I mean, we've all seen crime scenes. So, yeah, you, so you, you create crime scenes and photograph them, big deal. Um, I, you know, I mean, real, there's real life images that, uh, you know, provoke so much more emotion and, and substance than the ones you're artistically manufacturing, uh, in, that, in my opinion. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, the the look, you, the the chapter he has available um, online is the best in the book. I mean, the rest of it is just, you know, it's just all this this bullshit. Like, there's no, you can't look. Every, you know, we all grew up in in Christian reality. Um, you know, in my era, it was even worse. <laughs> you know, I mean, this the society with Elvis Presley. Um, what was uh, a threat to national security. Um, I mean, that's how fucked up people were, uh, you know. So, I mean, this whole idea of uh, there's no way you could survive the oppression of this, this entity called society. Um, yeah, well, fuck, we all go through, we all, look, we all, we have that in common. Yeah, we all go through that little bit of a trauma. Um, but why that turns you into somebody who just doesn't give a fuck um, pisses me off. And somebody who doesn't give a fuck in this stupid, inconsistent way. I mean, you say one, you know, it's all these contradictions. I mean, that might be arty, but it's just bullshit. I hate contradictions. I hate, I hate, I hate bullshit. I mean, it's oxymoronic. Um, yeah, I love this, but I hate this. I mean, it's, you know, you love, hate, everything, everything. You love, hate, everything. Everything's goddamn love and hate. Well, fuck that. There's got to be some sort of reason somewhere. There's got to be a rationality to things. 
um, yeah, I just, I didn't, I, I just, I didn't see a person there. I mean, I, I, I'm left thinking. I was thinking to myself, saying, "Man, what does his why? Why would not, why would his girlfriend have sex with him, let alone have a fucking baby with him? Jesus fucking Christ!" <laughs> you know, I mean, you're not even trying to be a human being. You just say, "You know, I'm I I'm just going to wallow in my fear and discomfort." You know, yeah. Well, we all have that. I mean, I'm terrified by life. I mean, life's just. It, re it revolts me this bullshit that goes on <laughs> but you know you're connected with the revulsion for me it's not just fucking moronic idiotic Christians we got a lot of moronic atheists running loose uh, so sorry yeah I just I didn't get any of it um, yeah uh, I don't I, I was hoping to find in there some explanation for why you are so attracted to violent images so attracted to um, turning everything into its ugliest profile. Um, you know, why? I mean, isn't, I mean, can't we deal, reality is ugly enough. Can't we just deal with the reality? I mean, that's sort of like what your, what your philosophy is. That's, that's sort of a good way to look at it, is that you're not, you're not taking it from some sort of, you know, Pollyanna bullshit image and trying to give us reality. You're going the other 180 degrees. You're, you're taking it, you're taking it all the way to the other extreme and saying it's all bad it's it's corrupt at its very core you're, you're not saying oh well it's got a little flaw let's fix that and, and that's it's stupid I mean let's deal with reality reality isn't you know the average person isn't going to be moved in any productive way by images of people who blow their brains out we all understand that's a fact of life yeah people get depressed and disgusted and Feudal and they blow their brains out. Okay. Yeah, we all understand that concept. I just don't understand wallowing in it I don't understand um, there's, there's nothing there's nothing redeeming. There's nothing to uh, Build on in this bullshit. It's just negativity for the sake of negativity. It is self-indulgent it is it's, it's pointless. I just, whatever. So, okay, that's, that's my fucking review. You forced me into it, and I'm, and I'm happy about doing it. And, and uh, yeah, I mean, you know, look, it's your first fucking book. Maybe you'll get a little more, maybe you'll appreciate either first that you have to write two people, okay? So you have to give them something, all right? And, you know, something for me would have been, you know, just something. You know, some, a little bit of some, some something, you know, something to make my dick hard, something to make me feel something, something. Or you, you have to be um, clinically proving something, demonstrating something logically. And there's no logic in this. It's, it's metaphor and bullshit. And, it's, you know, you, one sentence contradicts the next sentence. I mean, there's, you know, it's, it's you know, it, it's, it's poetry without all the um, dressings of poetry. Uh, so, uh, but whatever. So, sorry. Look, I, like I said, I didn't want to have to make a negative video. Didn't want to have to say it, a bad thing about it. But that's just the truth. It's just the the raw reality. Is, is it, I wasn't impressed. I didn't like the fucking book. I'm pissed off. I'm not pissed off. But yeah, I wasted my fucking money. Um, you know, you challenged me to read something, and it really wasn't up to the challenge, and uh, it wasn't worth the time. And uh, so that's it. There's no need to go further. So I will. You know, maybe in the next week or so, I'm going to draw some pictures in the book. Maybe I'll try to do it in the next few days, just give the book some market value. And uh, sign it or do something. I'll do something to the book to deface it in some in-mendum way. And then sell it on eBay. And uh, so if you could, uh, maybe you could feature that video once I do that, just so I can sell the book. And then we'll both be happy. Uh, well, no, I'll be happy, I guess. But you asked me to do this, so fuck it. I mean, you can't expect to be happy because you asked me to do it. So sorry. Sorry I didn't like the book. Ugh. I did want to add that the uh, foreword by T.L. Kincaid <laughs> was um, probably the best four pages in the book. Um, you know, for a foreword, it was pretty good. But uh, yeah, everything was pretty much downhill from there.